Hi, we're Jack and Heather. We're busy professionals who wanted to escape the hustle and bustle of city life, so we bought a travel trailer. Since we both have regular 9-to-5 jobs, we're more like weekend warriors, spending the weekends camping and exploring with our fur kids, Spaz, Doodle, and Marley. We're both native Texans, so we started our adventures close to home with state and local parks and some small towns we've always wanted to visit. Click on the subscribe button so you can join us on our weekend adventures as we explore the Lone Star State. So we get a lot of questions about the uh, dog fence that we use uh, when we go camping, so I wanted to share a little bit of information about it. Um, I see questions about it all the time in Facebook groups, you know, for those of you who travel with dogs, how, you know, what do you do? Um, well, first of all, you're going to keep them on a leash because that's pretty much a rule every campground we've ever been to is to keep your dogs on a leash. We have seen instance, incidents where dogs haven't been on the leash and it doesn't usually end well. They usually get in an argument with at least one dog that is on a leash. Um, but we use a, uh, a heavy duty fence system that um, we got from a reseller on Facebook Marketplace. Um, that was cheaper than going through Amazon, but you can find these fence panels on Amazon and we'll include some links to uh, some uh, different options. There's a bunch of different brands. Um, we went with the heavy duty ones because they're metal uh, versus plastic. Um, there's usually three different sizes that you can find, 24 inch, uh, 32 inch and 40 inch so here's what we do you can see behind me we have the 24 inch that goes along the camper so the dogs can't go under the camper and I'll show you right here it actually goes under the stairs perfectly and we actually put the gate uh, each set comes with its own gate so I usually put the gate under the stairs because we don't really ever use the gate to go under the camper. Um, but it usually comes with eight panels. Um, other reason I like the metal heavy duty ones is because you see the uh, pole that goes through the middle of them um, is just this little hook. Uh, the ones that are not heavy duty tend to have a ball on the top of them. And what I find is that when you're trying to, some places, you know, the ground is soft enough that you can actually put it, uh, push it into the ground. Well, if you've got a little ball on top right here, what happens is you hit the panels themselves and you can't go in very deep. Whereas with these, you know, you just turn the little shepherd's hook and you can push it in even as far down as the, the holes. Now, the way they work is, let's see if I can get in here nice and close to show you. Um, you just line up each panel has two and uh, if you put them all going the same way they should line up just in line like that. And when I say going the same way what you'll see is the um, the rods here uh, on one side they're pretty much lined up with the top and on the other side they're kind of sunken back so I just make sure that they're all um, I always put them flat to the outside and that then lines up your holes here and then you've got two holes down here and it, like I said if the ground is soft enough if it's grass or something like that then you can usually push it down just to give it some more stability um, once you get them all together I mean they're gonna move a little bit but uh, they're pretty stable the dogs don't like knock them over or anything like that the only issue that we've had is there was one time that we had a um, uh, picnic table inside the fenced area and um, Marley got up on top of the picnic table and was eyeing the possibility of jumping over the fence so um, for this outer area we have 40 inch panels and that's really just because of um, Marley uh, as you can see she's definitely not gonna be able to jump over it unless she is really really motivated so for little dogs like you know spaz and doodle the 24 inch height might have been okay, but for with Marley, we just wanted to do a little bit taller. So as you can see, we've got a total of three sets. Um, we've got the one 24 inch set that goes under or goes alongside the camper. And then we've got two 
of the 40 inch tall sets. So this is a total of 16 40 inch panels that goes around the outside edges. And so that's why we've got a gate over here and we have a gate over here, which also makes it super convenient for going out to the truck or for going to cook in the outdoor kitchen. Um, it's just easy because we have an entry exit on both sides. So um, I think that's about it. Again, you can get them on Amazon. Um, you're going to pay 150 ish is I think what I've been seeing, maybe more than that, um, depending on the size. Um, always make sure that it has, you know, eight panels in it. Um, it's the right height that you want. We got the heavy duty version. Um, there are plastic versions out there if you'd rather do that. Uh, I'll try and remember to get a video when we take everything down, but basically you just pull those poles out and the um, panels stack on top of each other. We use a Velcro lash thing to kind of like keep them together in sets of eight. And then uh, when we travel, um, what we do is we take the tabletop off of the dinette and just, you know, set it up on its side. And then the panels then go in between the two benches of the dinette. So what happens is then, because they're pretty heavy, so that way it sits right above the axle um, as we're traveling. So um, I'll try and remember to catch a video of that uh, to add at the end. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions, put them in the comments. I'll try and answer them. It works out really well for us uh, when we set up. So the dogs stay in the truck uh, with the air conditioner running because um, it gets hot in Texas. So we leave them in the air conditioning in the truck uh, until we get everything level um, and you know everything's kind of set inside. We get the air conditioner running and inside and everything. And then what we'll do is we'll move them into the camper and I put down their water bowl so that they have plenty of water to drink and they hang out inside the camper while I get all of this set up. And then once I have everything set up out here, I'll open the door, let them out and, and everything like that. So, um, and just in case you're curious, Marley loves her little elevated bed here. And this came from Costco, but you can also get it on Amazon. I'll see if I can find a link for one. Um, but it's great because at home we leave the canopy off of it, but then uh, when we're out here in the sun, it just gives her another shady place to lay, as well as um, because it's ventilated at the bottom, it's nice and cool for her. So um, I think that's about it. So like I said, if you have any questions, put them in the comments. Happy to answer any questions. Um, again, this is the most common question I get is where did you find them? We got ours on Facebook Marketplace. I did a search for, I think, dog fence panels or something like that, which you're gonna get some that are like the big panels for like your house um, to do like a dog run or something like that, but you're gonna find a lot of these too. And the person that I bought them from, they had a lot of different stuff. Um, I think it was seconds or um, surplus or something like that, but they had a lot of different stuff that looked like, you know, it's commonly sold on Facebook Marketplace on, or Amazon. Um, so, but it was uh, at least half the price. Um, I want to say we paid $80 for the 40 inch, the two sets of 40, well, $80 each for the two sets of the 40 inch. And I want to say the short ones were like 60. So I'll total I suck at math off the top of my head. I want to say we were out the door for like three hundred dollars for for all of them. So, um, so yeah, you can find it a lot cheaper through Facebook Marketplace, and you can even find people that are selling selling them personally, privately, um, versus like one of these where they've got a big, huge warehouse of stuff that you know. Okay. One thing I forgot to show that I'm going to show you real quick is the corners. How do we connect the short ones to the tall ones? So we use the tall uh, pole to go through the tall hole. And then we go through the short holes. And yeah, so short hole. And then line up the holes at the bottom. Um, a lot of times we'll get a... Um, 
a zip tie and put it right here we haven't this trip because it really hasn't been an issue but a zip tie right here just helps to hold them together um, you do get a little bit of a gap so if you've got an escape artist you might want to just shift the panels down you know a little bit more um, we just do this so that it doesn't block the access to the storage um, but yeah you know you can make it another panel shorter and just come from here or even just go from here you can basically make it whatever size or shape that you want it to be so enjoy all right so we are packed up ready to go and I wanted to show you real quick how we actually load up the um, the dog fences into the camper and how we travel with them so let me flip this around so this is where our dinette table normally goes but I take off the tabletop it goes alongside we've got our uh, cooking folding table there as well and then here's the three sets so we've got a 40 inch set there's the 24 inch set and then the 40 inch set and they just line up perfectly right there we used to strap them uh together so that they wouldn't move but what we found is that they're they're heavy enough that uh they don't really move if they slide out um they may slide out to like right about here uh we've never had them go all the way across or anything like that so so yeah that's where they ride right on top of the axle um you know there's been at times that maybe we've stuck something else in there something soft um but no nope, they usually ride pretty perfect right there and then all of the poles are um, lashed together and up in the uh in the bunk so that's how we roll with the uh the fence for the doggos so hopefully that's helped you again any questions put them in the comments see you soon